Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Do Brand You and it's all about you, about supporting you to unleash your potential in every season of life. And this is a Friday chat. So on Fridays, I just share with you what I've been working on over the week in my journey as unleashing my potential and uh, finding ways that I can support you by sharing some of the uh, solutions that I've come up with and some of the tips and tricks along the way. So today, the focus is going to be on something that I have um, done this week, and that is to reflect forward. Not reflecting back, but reflecting forward. This is a really powerful strategy, and I'll share that with you. Now, I'll just say for those of you that have been following along, yes, I am still traveling. Sorry, I did not upload last week. It was my birthday. I was in Dubai, decided not to upload anything. It was my birthday, so now I'm here in the Seychelles, and I used to live here for nine years. It's a great place for uh, to come back to. You know, you all, and you might find a place like that too, a place that you used to live, and it's very familiar. It's always nice to go back to those places, especially in what I'm doing right now, which is I'm focusing on refreshing my brand, redoing my website, realigning the services and the products that I have in my business with a new vision that I have that will be fully uh, launched in February 2025. And so what I wanted to do was to share with you the strategy that I use this week, which is called Reflecting Forward. And it really ties in actually to the new logo that I have for Do Brand You. So the logo for Do Brand You is a fusion between a compass rose and an actual rose. Because when you unleash your potential in every season of life, how are you going to do that? Well, first of all, you need to know where your true north is. You need to get that compass out and find out where you're going. And so the second thing is to blossom in your own uniqueness like a rose. So how did I use that today in what I'm doing? Well, I decided that during the time in the Seychelles, you know, I am I am traveling, so I wanted to to, to do something this week that is part of what I do for my work, but something that would really sit with the environment, which is a really great place to reflect and to think and to do some deep thinking. And I did do a lot of deep thinking of, of thinking of what was, where have I been? But this week, I really began to focus on the clarity of where do I want to be in a year's time. What do, what do my services and products look like? Who am I serving? How am I going to evolve into this new brand refresh that I have? And I really encourage you to, again, always think of your personal branding. Doing brand you is a evolution. We are always changing and growing and evolving. And as you do that, take time to reflect deeply, not just on the past, but on the forward movement. That's your vision. That's what you're gonna manifest and get that clarity. And now the second part is to blossom in your own uniqueness. And this has really hit me this week because I've, I know where I am, I know what I've been doing, and then I know where I wanna go, I know what products I want I, and services, I know what my, my business, what I want it to look like, I know how I want my lifestyle to evolve so that I can really enjoy a lifestyle personally that involves my professional life as well. And I've got that clarity. But if you're like me, I wanna move from A to B, like really quickly and I was getting overwhelmed and I was realizing that I like I was just like I can't get everything done and how am I going to get all this done how am I going to go from here to the, where I want to launch in February and then I thought about 
blossoming in your own uniqueness like a rose. And a rose blossoms slowly. Right now in New Zealand, it's winter and the buds aren't even coming out. The, the rose bushes have been fully cut back. And as spring comes, they will, the leaves will come on, the flowers will form bud, the plants will form buds. And then when that rose blossoms, it's going to be one petal at a time. And so that's what I've been really focusing on this week is not just where do I want to go, but how am I going to stay in a state of that winter state into spring where I just begin to, you know, blossom, the leaves around me begin to blossom, but that the rose will blossom then one petal at a time. And what will that first petal be? What will the first focus on this rebrand and the refresh be? And then what will be the next petal and the next petal? And I really, this has really, really helped me this week to get the clarity moving forward with my finding my compass road, my true north with my compass rose, and then blossoming one petal at a time through the evolution. So I hope that resonates with you. And I encourage you to reflect forward. Take time to do that. It's a great strategy. Another way that I have done with reflecting forward that I'm doing now is that part of my daily morning routine is to do some journaling. And so the journaling that I'm doing now is I'm journaling is if I'm in the future. So I'm journaling a, a day in my future. So it's in, it's in six months time or in a year's time. What does my life look like? as I've gone through this evolution, as I've gone through the change that I want to go through, what does the new me look like? And it really will, if you try that, it's not something you do all the time, but specific times when you're really looking forward um, in, in, in getting clarity on that, it really helps. So I hope that finds you well. I will be back in New Zealand for our next Friday chat. And I will catch up with you then. Do remember to like and subscribe to these videos. I'll be sharing more. Do make a comment. I always like to hear how you are moving through your journey. Follow me on Instagram if you like. And I will catch up with you next week.